Hello students! Welcome to the Art and Design program. Today, I'm going to introduce you a series of free lessons based on the history of art. These lessons comprise three fascinating art movements, Greek art, Roman art, and Renaissance art. In today's lesson, you will learn about Greek art. Classical Greek art has left its mark throughout the ages and across the world. It has set the foundation for many art practices. We are going to see in detail what Greek art is all about. Greek art began in the Cycladic and Minoan civilization and gave birth to Western classical art. It stands out among other ancient cultures for its development of idealized depictions of the human body whereby largely nude male figures were the focus of innovation. The art of ancient Greece is divided into three distinct periods. The Archaic period, the Classical period, and the Hellenistic period. The Archaic period denotes the era of artistic development in Greece from about 650 to 480 before Christ. Kouros is the modern term given to freestanding ancient Greek sculptures that first appeared in that period. These nude sculptures represented rigid, static and muscular male youths. On the other hand, the female sculptural counterpart of the kouros is the kori, which is a type of freestanding sculpture depicting female figures always of a young age. Jewelry and neatly pleated dresses gave them an almost chic elegance. Some gorai were painted colourfully to enhance the visual impact of the garments. These sculptures were carved in the round but designed to be seen from the front with many details, especially in the facial features. In the early 5th century of the Classical period, Greek artists began consciously to render human and animal forms realistically. This entailed careful observation of the model as well as understanding the mechanics of anatomy to achieve ideal beauty. The athlete figures are regularly shown at ease, one leg relaxed with a complementary shift in the shoulders and the whole emphasized by contrast of rigid and relaxed in limbs. Lyocorn and his two sons is made from seven interlocking pieces of white marble sculpture from the Hellenistic period, which dated from 323 before Common Era to 31 Common Era. Discovered in a Roman vineyard in 1506, this marble sculpture showcases an interest in the realistic depiction of expressive and dynamic movement. In the action-packed scene, three figures frantically try to free themselves from the grasp of twisting serpents. Hellenistic sculpture takes the naturalism of the body's form and expression which bring out an emotional response. This bronze statue of an old defeated boxer presents a Hellenistic twist. 
The boxer looks old and tired and is shown beaten and exhausted from his pursuit. His face is swollen, lip spilt and ears cauliflowered. Greek architecture followed a highly structural system of proportions connecting distinct architectural components to the whole building. This system was developed according to three major styles, the Doric, the Ionic and the Corinthian. Doric columns were the most simple and the thickest of the Greek styles. They had no decoration at the base and a simple design also known as capital at the top. Doric columns were narrowed at the top and wider on the bottom. An example of the Doric style is the Temple of Zeus at Olympia. The Ionic columns were thinner than the Doric and had a base at the bottom. The capital at the top was decorated with scrolls on each side. The glorious Parthenon, which was built in honour of Athena, goddess of wisdom and protector of Athens, is a replica of the Ionic style. The most decorative of the three orders was the Corinthian. The capital was decorated with scrolls and the leaves of the acanthus plant. The Corinthian order became popular in the later era of Greece and was heavily copied by the Romans. A vivid example is the temple of Olympian Zeus. Greek paintings, which dated from 2800 before Christ to 31 before Christ, has significant importance in Western civilization. The earliest came from the Minoan culture and the island of Crete. Minoan art is extraordinary for its sense of movement and its emphasis on the living world. This Minoan fresco painting, Bull Leaping, depicts a young man performing what seems to be a handspring or flip over a charging bull. It was a local sport during which the athlete had to execute the jumps over and on the bull. The Etruscans of central Italy adopted firmly the Greek mural painting style to decorate the walls of their own rock tombs. Three musicians can be observed from this example of Etruscan tomb painting. Greek pottery, which dated from 1000 to 400 before Common Era, provides some of the oldest and most diverse representations of the cultural beliefs and practices of the ancient Greek. Greek potters produced practical vessels for wine, water, oil and perfumes. Panathenaic amphoras were big vases used for storage. They were offered as awards to winners at the Olympic Games. Greek pottery evolved over the centuries and may be categorized into four broad groups. Proto-geometric pottery, geometric pottery, black figure pottery and red figure pottery. Dear students, I hope that this lesson has widened your knowledge on history of art. That's it for today. See you soon for another fascinating lesson on visual literacy.